Why did the FDA approve it? The approval of RBGH in 1993 was probably one of the most controversial decisions the FDA ever made. And this slide talks about something known as the revolving door effect. The Monsanto FDA revolving door involved such people as Michael Taylor, who was the FDA Deputy Commissioner for Policy from 1991 to 94. He was also previously a partner at a law firm which represented Monsanto. Margaret Miller was an FDA branch chief for hormones and pharmacological agents, so she reviewed the drug. She also worked for Monsanto from 1985 to 1989. And Susan Sechin was the FDA primary review officer for RBGH from 1988 to 90. Previously, she worked as a graduate student at Cornell under a professor who was doing RBGH research. So none of this is technically illegal but you can certainly see where Monsanto influenced the approval of the drug by the FDA. There were people within the FDA speaking out against the process. You can also see that these whistleblowers, because of their dissent, were reprimanded or forced to quit by the FDA. Richard Burroughs spoke up against inappropriate studies and decisions and the suppression and manipulation of data. He actually pointed out that some cows who were coming down with mastitis from RBGH were taken out of the studies. And let's be clear here, this is direct manipulation of the science. So what have other organizations said about this hormone? Most organizations went along with the FDA's initial approval because they trusted them in the approval process. The American Medical Association supported passage of RBGH. However, a year later, their Council on Scientific Affairs came out with a statement saying that IGF-1 needed to be studied further. There are also other organizations, such as the Organic Consumers Association, Consumers Union, the Center for Food Safety, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, and the National Family Farm Defenders, who have all come out with statements opposing RBGH. Healthcare Without Harm, which, which is an international coalition of over 400 organizations dedicated to safe and healthy practices in hospitals, issued a formal position statement opposing RBGH. We're now currently seeing hospitals all over the country going RBGH free. How are other countries uh, coming in on this issue? Most industrialized countries do not allow RBGH use. This includes Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and all 25 nations in the European Union. In the EU, when they considered RBGH, did have some concerns about human health. In addition to all these countries, I'd like everyone to know something really important. Mm. The United Nations main food safety body, known as the Codex Alimentarius, actually reviewed RBGH in 1997 and 1999 and they found that there was no consensus on its safety in humans, so it has not come up for review since then.